Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. On this video, another short, sharp shock. And we had an email through about the Crook and Drag and why it would actually work. So if you haven't seen the Crook and Drag strike, um, at the end of the video, on the little links, we'll post one in the box. Go and have a check it out, it's well worth it. This is the end of my friend. My only friend, the Crook. And the Larry Grayson band. I saw his Rolling Stones. The doors. Oh, shut that. Okay, just for a recap, I'm gonna put my hand up here. Chris is gonna show you the technique. I thought he was gonna demonstrate he used deodorant for a change. <laughs> now, part of the problem. Ow! <laughs> He's not that working. When we talk about hitting points, it's very difficult to hit the point. Yeah. Unless it's a bit chubby. But <laughs> you get into that, I'll tell you. They're not going to stand still and hit these precise. Could you just hit me there, please, sir? Certainly. <laughs> so, in all seriousness, um, big, big area hitting a bigger area. If you're in a panic situation, you're not going to go, he's attacking me and moving, I'm going to strike that point. With the crook strike, rather than a poke, yes, if he's standing still, it's great. I it's like a, the pokes, don't get me wrong. I love a good poke. This large area is brilliant. I've lost weight in comparison to this. Oh, right, okay. Small area, large area. Now, so we were saying about striking and you... What have you got against my hat today? Striking, you don't need to be accurate with this. So what I'm thinking is, when he's striking, I can then strike, and then I've got the latch on afterwards. So now, obviously you won't be striking because I won't have my hand like this and it's about a bottle. It'd be I, aiming for more like the ribbage. I thought you were sexy and I know it. But You're gonna get hit again today, didn't you? I just resigned to my fate. So, <laughs> If I'm, this would be a guard for me. Oh no, are you doing this down here? Because I need this for balance, but just be short in, and then I can hook. I mean, he's got a nice pocket here. So if he swings his arm for the technique, I've changed arm so you can see. I don't have to be precise. I can just strike generally. If I completely miss, because I'm worried, I can still come back and strike. Right, as if I'm going to let my arms stay there. I know. So the email we had was actually unusual because it's the first time in what, three years, four years we've been doing this larky? Three. Seems longer. We actually got an email is how would this affect the body? How would this take the fight out of your attacker? So we're going to do a bit of role play. Oh, can I be the milk man? No. Okay. You're going to get slapped again. Okay. So, Chris has got Kane in non dominant hand. Okay. So, Kane's in non dominant hand, and the crook is facing outwards. Just for demonstrations. Yes, you may not walk this way. I do sometimes. Just when I've seen danger. I do. I'm going to come in with a left handed punch. Because some people in the world are left handed. This is true. So, as I give the punch in, Chris is going to block with his free arm, he's going to do a cross strike with a crook, set of plexus, drag through, he's going to grab the ribs, which is right there, from the spine, bottom here, all the way round to about there, is your float ribs, and they, trust they, me, you get hit, you drop. So, it's really slow, the punch is coming in, he's blocked. As he's blocked, he's struck at the same time, this which is double me over. Now, I've gone side to the side, so it gives me an opportunity for a double tap. Yeah. But then they've got this whole drag. Out. By the time I've got to here, oh, look, I've got an arm bar. I've got well, it. put the arm bar on so they can see. So I can be here, I can use my cane for this, I can go back into hooking things while this is on. So from that, the first strike, if I do the block, first strike, it's hit. As soon as it's hit, that's a window. Yeah. For those of you who know Harold on the ground, that was one of his techniques to punch across there and then drive up here. Because it lowers the head, 
I'm bending forward. It's almost like hollowing, but not yeah. the way I want to. So I'm here. I mean, then the hands up here, by the way. This then I can then strike across here, here. This leads me up to here as well. You will see the opportunity. We always say this, but if he hits me, I might suddenly go oh that way. Yeah. I might fold at a slightly different angle. Some people will not fold. Again, I've got three canes. Oh. <laughs> Wherever I'm hitting, the idea is not to hit or hit through anymore. It's to hit in, but then let the cane find its least resistance point. Once you've gone past, instead of just coming back slowly, this is going to be a, a forceful drag. That wasn't hard. Chisel tip is okay. not as violent as this baby. Oh, so. so Depending what tip you've got. So if he grabs that, what he's going to do, I don't know why I've said this. I don't know why I said this, but he's actually going to hit the bicep and drag just to see what happens. He's going to go back 10%, 5 to 10%. Oh God, he's, he's got this evil look in his eye. I'm just counting up all the insults on the drive here, plus what you've done when you're here. That's, we're at 80% at the moment. Okay, so this is going to be a I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to look. I can't look because I know what's coming. <laughs> even that just like tap. I didn't really want to do that, but it's, it's horrible. Yeah. So in answer to the question, you're hitting broadside, which is almost like hitting broadside of the hand to double them over. You're grabbing, you're putting your control in. Yeah. Body does not work the same way for everyone. So, I'm, again, I might be coming in with this hand, yep. striking. Now, I might decide to go that way. Hit the hip, come down, take the knee. But as he's hitting, I've seen it come in, I might have changed. Oh, look. And then I've got all of this. You need to play with scenarios. This is the key thing. We can tell you how certain hits will affect the body. We've got a friend from Australia, I'll pop his name on the screen, that actually put a pipe yep. within a garden hose, because hose, he'd seen that cane V-bone, and he'd give it a whack in. So, insert name down here because I'm old, and I can't remember the name off the top of my head, because I only see it this morning. Is it Steve? I don't know, I can't I remember. Know. If you can send us some pictures of the actual Bowie bit, one of our videos, we'll stick their pictures on, and you know, I'll then remember your name, I promise. <laughs> so, for Aisha, who sent the email, this is what happens. Every reaction is an equal and opposite reaction. Very so, good. if I turn around and say, Chris, you're short, fat and ugly, it will either hit me, or insult me back. I if I turn around and say, good morning, Chris will say, good morning. If I hit him in the chest, depending on his pain receptors, I will break your knuckles with my mighty pecs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where's the joke? Yeah, but the thing is, it's everything. Play out scenarios. We look at, we say this. We look at CCTV, and these sudden bursts of aggression. You haven't got time to stand back, do a nice block, and go yeah. off screen. Come back into the shot so you can hit them. Disclaimer. That claimer. The disclaimers. <laughs> and oh, I will work. No, <laughs> stop. <laughs> It'll get that swing on my head, that's it for the rest of the day. If they are drunk on substances, um, adrenaline it. rushing and stuff like that, yes, you can hit someone, you can break their bones, and they don't feel it for hours after. We that's understand true. this. This is just one technique. If Chris was incredibly drunk and attacking me, I would do something different than the drag strikes. This is great for in close work, because if I'm up in close here, I can't see where this is coming, so I'll do it for the camera. So as you can see, I can't see this hand because I've blocked it with my arm. I'm trying to keep him away, get the distance, I know that's coming in. That would actually be a risky strike. Yeah. If I turn the cane, it's great, but I wouldn't be doing that in a panic. This is where all of these 
Come in. So you pick your scenario, you pick the tool from your toolbox. Tool chest. Tool chest. So many tools now. <laughs> and you see what works. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you like it. Drop us a line down below, give us a comment, tell us what you think. Because that's the way. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hang on. Subscribe, like and share. You're not actually going to get it right once, are you? It is, no, it's a share, like, subscribe. You, you, you're putting words in my head now, I'm confused. <laughs> Don't forget to ring the bell. First the mind, then the bladder. Remember that. I think you got it around the other way today. I have anyway. <laughs> um, beware the tiny tiger of terror. Teeny tiger. Teeny weeny, tiny, teeny itsy bitsy one. And uh, don't forget to free the ferret. Oh. If you'd like to see more in the original video, directly below me will be said video. Click on it. If you'd like to have a look at a video on pressure point stuff, don't talk to me about pressure. Do 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 do